Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and thank you so much for joining me here for month four of our Law of Attraction success story update. I can't believe it's been four months already we're using the Law of Attraction. So many amazing things have happened. If you haven't already checked out the previous three videos then you're welcome to do so. But today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Why? I kind of feel like I had a breakthrough this month which was really, really amazing. And I didn't really keep a list of things that I manifested like I had done previously. I found that, yes, I was, I am still manifesting things, but there's not a lot of things that I really want to share, like in terms of materialistic things. I want to talk about the bigger arc, um, overriding kind of picture. And for me, I just want to preface this video and let you know that I actually wasn't 100% this month. My emotional guidance system was at the frequency of love and then it had a massive um, decline to number 22, which is depression. Um, I had some, um, what do I say? I had some personal things come up that was very unexpected and really shook me and made me um, go, what the fuck is going on, kind of thing. Um, and sorry, I normally don't swear, but it just really threw me and I was like, oh God, I thought I was doing well. Anyway, so that happened. And then what happened from there is that I started, I kind of gained clarity and perspective. And I was like, okay, I'm doing self-love practices, but I'm not doing them enough. So I started upping my daily count of self-love practices. I got myself out of that kind of, um, what do you call that? Like hole within seven days. Um, and it really shook my, my whole universe because this is something that has ever happened to me. It's the second time it's happened. Um, and I don't want to speak about it too much because law of attraction will bring me more of that. Anyway, so I had a bad week that really shook me and I really made the effort to be on top of my self-love practices. I started really, really saturating my subconscious with lots and lots of positivity, listening to Abraham Hicks, listen to Louise L. Hay, 101 Power Affirmations. I was listening to um, fabulous sleepy time meditations because I was having really bad dreams. And I was just basically doing everything I possibly could to raise my vibration. If you see that little pink jar over there, check out my dream jar video. Um, I use a dream jar to use visualization. I basically use so many different tools, like really anything. I was even using like my um, my angel oracle cards to get some guidance and clarity. I was like, Ugh, what am I doing wrong, angels? I'm obviously not in the frequency to listen to what you're saying, so I'm gonna try and raise my vibration, do lots of meditation, and try and you know get it. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, long story short, um, I don't know if you guys have ever been overweight before, but I have, and I used to be about three, three, three dress sizes bigger. Um, that was like three or four. Oh, I, it's hard to say because my transition has been very, very slow. Check out my healing and transformation playlist. You can check it out right here. Um, and basically what had happened is when you lose weight, you your mental capacity doesn't keep up with the physical. So I lost lots of weight. I lost 10 kilos. Not that it was quick or anything. I did it the right way started cutting out preservatives and I started adopting a whole foods plant-based diet and plants literally make you feel a fabulous because they have um, they have the, the high vibe they just have this high frequency and vibration about them and when you eat them you consume that high vibration which in turn makes you feel really good hence why at the beginning of my journey I was a hundred percent raw right nothing cooked for six months because I learned that that was the fastest way to heal the body. I basically did that because I had acne. Anyway, get on to this video. Um, I actually have fallen in love with my body this month, which is massive for me. Like that is a massive, a testament to the work that I have been doing on myself. I posted this picture right here on Instagram. Um, and Peter and I had like a little photo shoot in front of our garage the other day. And I was, I looked at the picture and I was like, Oh, good God, check out my legs. Like I'm wearing high-waisted, skinny waist jeans with this cute little belt and this striped black and white shirt and these gorgeous little chunky kind of heeled boots. And I felt like a million dollars. Like 
I felt so good that Peter and I were just going to get like hot chips and go and sit at the marina and like watch sunset. And I was like, no, honey, we look so good. Like, I just feel so good. I'm like, we have to go out for dinner. And he's like, oh, okay. Like impromptu date night. This is kind of cool. So it was just, I don't know. I just felt like my mental side caught up with my physical. Now, mind you, during this time, I obviously, I haven't been exercising regularly. Actually, I probably, to be honest, haven't exercised in a month. Um, that yucky time really threw me and it takes me a while to get back. And I just start doing things to raise my vibration with like meditation, affirmations, visualization, um, all of those beautiful visions kind of words. And that makes me feel good. And then when I'm ready, I'm like, hey, I need sunshine. Let's go for a walk or let's hang the clothes out in the line when there's sun. Or we're gonna go for a walk early in the morning. And then like fast forward to like a month after this has kind of happened. Maybe not even a month, maybe two, three weeks. Anyway, I'm now like this morning, <laughs> I was awake at 4.30 in the morning. I'm starting to program my mind for success, for, for my entrepreneurial success. And one way that I'm doing that is I got inspired by my beautiful friends, Kim and Nina. If you haven't seen their channel, they are the most beautiful people in the whole wide world. And I feel so blessed to be able to call them my friends, like real life friends. And um, in their video, they were showing their morning routine and they were both waking up at 4.30. And I was like, 4.30, are you bloody kidding me? It's winter here, you know, it's getting cold. And, um, and so I was like, okay, well, I'll just start waking up earlier and earlier. And I was like to Peter, right, if you put the alarm on for five o'clock, we can cuddle for half an hour. Then by half five, I'll wake up and I'll just like start programming my morning for success kind of thing. Anyways, so that's kind of where I'm at this month. It's, I just had like this massive breakthrough with my body. And I don't know very many people that look at themselves and like love their body. Like I looked at myself in those jeans and I was like, I'm wearing high-waisted skinny jeans and I feel fabulous. You know, like that is like, that's like, you can't even put a price on that. Like that is just the best feeling in the whole wide world. Yes, I did. Um, manifest some other things. I actually got an apology from someone that I haven't had, which was like 10 years overdue. So maybe that was an emotional release that helped with the weight because I don't believe that like exercise and food are the only things that help with weight loss or um, your body reshaping. I don't know what to call it. I don't know the correct term for it because maybe it wasn't weight loss. Maybe I always looked at this, but I never saw myself like that. I don't really know what to call it. Anyway, so emotional blockages are a massive thing. If you um, haven't watched episode two of this Law of Attraction series, I teach you how to release physical and emotional blockages, um, which is amazing because sometimes I have one person in my life, whenever I speak to that person, I have to burn white sage and I have to like raise the Kundalini up and do all of this kind of energetic work before I speak to that person. Um, yeah. Anyway, so my YouTube views are still continuously increasing. I've got so many new MK Love fam. Thank you so much for all my beautiful fam that have joined the family. Um, I find I'm getting a deeper connection with you guys in the comments, especially in my spiritual videos, which I have been longing for, and I just love it. Um, I manifested a job, but I didn't get what I wanted, but then I realized I wasn't acting. You know, if you want something, you have to be what you want to attract, and I wasn't that, which was kind of a wake-up call. So I manifested a job, but then I was like, oh God, this is not what I wanted. And I was like, see you later. Thank you so much. I'm totally grateful, and I bless you, and I offer this job to somebody um, wonderful, like just making room for them. What else was there? Meditating more. Oh, YouTube invited me to an event in Brisbane, which was fabulous. I made a vlog about it. The thumbnail is literally my legs. Yeah, okay, so maybe that's where it was all coming into it. Anyway, so basically what I'm trying to say is that I had a really, really good, oh, the sun is changing. I had a really good month. Whoa, two synchronicities just happened then. I checked my screen camera and it said nine minutes 33. I checked my computer and it said 12, 12. Add one and two is three, three, three. So three is like the Trinity, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Um, it's like everything is, 
all as well. Anyways, my life, I just wanted to let you know, like that's what's been going on. It wasn't like a month where I was like, I manifested this, 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 and all the materialistic things. <sighs> because really at the end of the day, all of that stuff doesn't matter. And that's kind of something that I've been thinking about to incorporate into my Law of Attraction series, but I really didn't know how, but the universe is like, right, Mel, I'm gonna give you the how, and um, then you can tell your beautiful MK Love viewers. So that's what's happened. I feel good, I love my body, which is amazing. I don't love it 100% of the time, but you know, I'm working on loving it more and i think that is a truly beautiful thing so wherever you are in your journey just surrender to the process you know when you set yourself a time frame that's like i need to lose a dress size in this or i need to gain weight and build muscle and do this you know the universe is not going to do it on your time they do it on divine time and divine time basically means is when you surrender to the process you release the blockages whether they're physical or um, energetic whatever it is and you are vibrating on the frequency of love and then that's when you'll be able to close the gap of resistance and manifest your heart's true desires it's a beautiful process and i just wanted to say thank you so much for all your support i know that you I'm loving this Law of Attraction series and I truly love making these videos for you. Any new things that I, that I begin to um, absorb and apply and really love, I share with you on my channel. So make sure that you have subscribed so you never miss another episode. Anyways, my love, can you comment below and let me know what have you guys manifested this month because I would absolutely love to hear from you because it's just I just find this Law of Attraction so interesting and it truly does work. It truly works. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. Remember, continue to make better choices and vibrate on the frequency of love, the most powerful frequency of all. I love you and I'll see you next episode. Goodbye.